Hello my friends. I have here two uh, Japanese lanterns and one is a casting of aluminum. This is what I used as a project when I was teaching school. This one is the original and it is cast iron, quite a bit heavier. So they both are identical other than that. This is the effect that I'm after. It took three attempts but the look is that of brass. And let me show you how I did it. I had just coated these uh, with two coats of silver paint and I let it dry um, for three days. So the paint should be fairly uh, dried on the surface. And what I'm going to do is antique this. And I'm using a gold finish. And we're going to do a little at a time. So I'm going to spray this a pretty heavy coat of gold. Then immediately take a rag and wipe it off. Okay, the antiquing process will leave the gold in the grooves and it will leave a brushed finish on the surface. Here is a close-up and you can see how the deeper grooves are darker or gold and the surface is the brushed silver. Gold on silver did not work. It didn't have enough contrast. So what you need to do is have your base coat a lighter color and we're going to do the gold and this will be the dominant or the color of the item and we're going to darken it or use a darker color as as the shadowing or the patina. So I'm going to use green and green is the color of the patina for copper or brass. So we're going to give this a, a pretty good coat. We want the, gold, the dark in the grooves, okay, immediately wipe it off. The first two antiquings I wasn't happy with. And the first one was silver base, gold top. The colors were too close, too light. You have to have a contrast, dark and a light. The second time, I did a gold base with a dark green top. Well, it discolored the gold too much. They were both oil-based paints. So this time, I have a, a light green, almost a teal color and this is water base and I'm going to mix this I have a half of a cup of water I'm going to make this 50 percent paint 50 percent water so it's a very diluted paint the water base I'm going to brush it on make sure I get it in the grooves
after three attempts I finally got what I'm trying to achieve a brass look with uh, greenish patina and uh, it's still wet still drying but this has the effect that I'm after so what you have to do is put the light paint on first and if it's dissimilar oil base with one water base with the other you can do them one right after the other this one I used the oil base spray can coated it with the silver and then I used the water base uh, latex over top and I diluted that 50 percent so we need the color to stay in the grooves and the surface remains gold in color so that gives you the brass effect with the bluish green patina so the best paint to use would be a flat paint uh, for the finished coat so it would have a dull look so happy with these with the job and these will go in the garden and I'll place candles in them thanks for watching my friends bye bye